This is BBC News. I'm Nancy Kachangira with the latest headlines for viewers in the UK and around the world. <laughs> Irish nationalists celebrate a watershed moment in Northern Ireland as Sinn Féin wins the most seats in Assembly elections. Today ushers in a new era, which I believe presents us all with an opportunity to reimagine relationships in this society. The result is a huge breakthrough for a party once linked with the IRA and has implications for the future of the United Kingdom. We'll be live in Belfast for the latest. Also on the programme. Ukraine says all women, children and the elderly have now been evacuated from Azovstal steel plant in the city of Mariupol. Rights in Afghanistan under a new attack. The Taliban order women to wear the full face veil. Today, they decreed that all women must cover their faces with a veil in public, and they laid out an escalating series of punishments for any woman not complying. Hello and welcome if you're watching in the UK or around the world. We start with a landmark result with potentially huge implications for the future of the United Kingdom. Sinn Féin have been confirmed as the party with most seats in the Northern Ireland Assembly. It's a historic step for a group once known as the political wing of the paramilitary group, the IRA. Sinn Féin Deputy Leader Michelle O'Neill has called it the start of a new era. Sinn Féin wants to take Northern Ireland out of the United Kingdom and unite it with the Irish Republic. Unionists, including the former largest party, the DUP, want to remain part of the UK. Our correspondent in Belfast, Chris Page, has this report. <laughs> 